Hi friends! Here we are again, time for art. We've been learning so many neat things about color this month, the element of color. I think color is one of the funnest things to learn about. There are so many things you can learn about color. We've already done some fun experimenting with paint, mixing colors, making new colors. We learned about a famous artist who loved to experiment with colors and his name was Kent Dinsky. We did some painting just like his and we had so much fun. But there is so many things to learn about color. Today we're gonna learn a different thing about color that maybe some of you already know and some of you maybe don't know. So we're gonna look at the color wheel and we're gonna talk about the colors and decide which ones have, make us feel a certain way. Colors can make us feel um, certain ways. So we're gonna talk about that. So let's get to it. Okay friends, here's our color wheel. There's We've talked about the primary colors. What are they? Red, yellow, and blue, you're right. And we mix those to make the secondary colors, which are what? Orange, green, and purple, or violet, you're right. And there's even more colors than that. Intermediate colors are when we mix the primary and secondary colors and we make intermediate colors. So there's so many colors on the color wheel that are possibilities to make. Some other things that are cool about color are there's cool and warm colors. There's value, which is like from dark to light. And if you want to make a color look lighter, you add white to it and that's called a tint. So if you have red and you wanna make pink, you would add white to it. Any color that you want it to be lighter, you add white. If you want a color to be darker, you add black to it, and that's called a shade. So there's tints and shades. This is called the gray scale from white to black and how you mix black and white until you get the, all the shades of gray. So there's lots of cool things that are about color today. But the thing we're going to talk about is cool and warm colors. So let's take a look at the color wheel. Which colors do you feel like when you see them, they make you kind of feel warm or you think of warm things or hot things when you see those colors. Friends, if you said any of, I'm gonna say maybe red, violet, any of these colors on this half of the color wheel, yellow, yellow, orange, orange, red, orange, red, and red, violet, and then all these colors in between, see these, like even the browns, any of the browns, those are considered the warm colors. We usually use those colors if we're painting a picture or making something that we want it to look warm, like if we're drying a flame from fire or drying the sun or making a sunflower or anything, we use those colors that are the warm colors. So if those are the warm colors, then it's pretty easy to guess what are the cool colors opposite side of the color wheel. These are considered the cool colors. Yellow, green, 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 blue, 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 violet, and violet or purple. These are considered cool colors. If an artist wanted to give you a feeling of something cool, like a nice little pond with shade, the ocean, something like that, he would use, or she would use the cool colors. So today we're going to do an art project using cool colors on one side of our project and warm colors on the other. All right. So today for our project, you get to choose an animal. I've made all these, printed off these animals for you to choose from and I re, I've divided them in half. So what we're gonna do with these is one half is gonna be only warm colors and the other half is gonna be cool colors. So you can choose which animal you want. There's this, like mountain lion. There's a cat. There's fox. There's a couple different foxes. Let's see. There's this fox or there's this cute, more cutesy fox, like a baby fox. There's a zebra. There's an eagle, there's a panda. I got lots of them for you. There's a wolf.
and there's a butterfly. There's an owl. And there's also a sea turtle. So, and you have lots and lots of animals you can choose from. So just pick one to start out. If you get one done and you've done a really nice job on it with your best work and it looks very nice and neat and professional, then you can choose another one to color. So, notice that every one of these animals is made with shapes. These are called geometric shapes. And these animals are geometric shape animals. So you can kind of look at that too, because we're gonna be learning about shapes later this year. So think about the shapes that you see in your animals. And every one of them has been divided down the middle so that both sides are equal. Does anyone know what you call it when both sides are the same? And it can be, if you divide it right down the middle, it's exactly the same on both sides. It's a math word. It starts with S. It's called sem. Symmetry, you're right. Symmetry is when it's the equal on both sides. So this is a symmetric. All these animals are symmetric because they're the same on both sides. Okay, choose which animal you want. I think I'll choose this butterfly. I've already made, I already did this mountain line so you can kind of see what we're gonna do today. Remember, one side's warm colors and one side is cool colors. Which side of this mountain lion is warm colors? What colors do you see on the warm side? Good job, friends. If you said orange, yellow, red, and brown, those are the warm colors. So obviously, what are the cool colors? The greens, the purples, and the blues, and gray. And I consider black a cool color, but some of them have just a little black somewhere on them. I didn't really use black when I was coloring it, but I would consider black a cool color. So if you do want to use black, you can. All right, so I'm gonna do this butterfly. And it's already divided because one wing's gonna be cool colors and the other side will be the warm colors. So today you can choose to use these color, I really like these colored pencils and the reason is, is because they have a, a lot of variety of colors. What does variety mean? Variety means that there's a lot of different ones. So there's a lot of warm colors in these colored pencils that you can choose from and there's a lot of cool colors. Or sometimes when you use markers, there might be like three warm colors, red, yellow, and orange and there might be three cool colors, purple, green, and blue, and you don't really have a large variety of colors. But these colored pencils have a lot of variety, so they're really good to use. If you want to use colored pencils and markers combined, you can use a little bit of both, markers and colored pencils on your picture. You could try that. Um, just try to get like a good variety of colors. So lots of different shades of orange, different shades of blue. That makes it more interesting. Okay, friends, I decided I'm going to use markers and colored pencils. So this is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to separate my colors before I start coloring. So I'm going to separate these pencils. So I'm going to do this side warm colors. So I'm going to put all the colors that are warm colors of my pencils. I'm going to just set them on the side. So there's that one. All the yellows, the browns, the reds, the oranges. There's another warm color, yellow. Even these pinks I would put on the warm side. And it looks to me like, oh, this one. All these would be the cool colors that are left. So I'll put all those over there. Warm colors, cool colors. And then, if I'm gonna use markers too, maybe I'll throw a few markers over here. So I think yellow and orange are gonna go on the warm side. And red. See, what I, like I said, there's not as many to choose from when you use markers, so that's the way. Blues and greens would be on the 
cool side. You're right. Purples. So I have good a good variety of cool colors over here and warm colors over here. That's what I'm gonna use. Okay, so then I'm gonna start coloring. There you have it. The warm side of my butterfly and the cool side. Warm colors, cool colors. This one I did with markers and colored pencils. The mountain lion or cougar I did with only colored pencils. So you can decide which one you like and how you would like to do yours. But the only instruction and rules for this project is that you have to have one side warm colors and one side cool colors. All right, friends, it's been so much fun learning about warm and cool colors. I hope you guys had a fun time. We'll see you next time.